Yes, people, today we'll be winning the Intercontinental Championship as Jey Uso in every single WWE 2K game. Let's get started in Jey Uso's 2K debut in 2K15. And we'll start off with 2K15. And we've got the Intercontinental Champion Rant Ball. What's that? <laughs> Jey Uso is here. And we're about to win the Intercontinental Championship in 2K15. We're on a fatal four with Randy Orton, Rob Van Dam, ourselves, and that's gotta be Kane. Oops, yo, let's go. JSA comes and takes down Kane straight away. Off the top row, corkscrew, drive out, he lands right on his back. Kane stick shots to everyone, a double kill right there from Jay Uso. Kane gets back to his feet, but JSA puts RVD through the table. And down it goes Rob Van Dam off the top of the ladder, but big boo and down goes Jay Uso off the top of the ladder. Huge crossbody down goes Randy Orton, and Randy Orton now hits the playmaker onto Kane. I don't know what that actually moves called, so I just couldn't play. Oh my gosh, an elbow drop and a choke slam. Elbow drop from Jesus off the top of the ladder and a choke slam. Rob Van Dam about to win. Here we go, a count of two. But Kane breaks things up, saving the championship right there. And I've tried to pin us a one and a two. That's going to do And a kick out. Uso splashed to Rob Van Dam's Kane. And Randy Orton are distracted over there. And Jay Uso picks up the victory by pinning Rob Van Dam to become your new Intercontinental Champion here in 2K15. Here's UK 16, we've got a battle royal for the Intercontinental Championship. Uso goes over the top rope, but he hangs on. But not for long, as he gets, once he gets back into the ring, Jay Uso has a surprise for him, and that surprise is an elimination, as there goes Dolph Ziggler. Following that, Daniel Bryan then got eliminated by Bad News Barrett and Jay Uso. And then following that, they got out the Bad News Barrett, guaranteed as a new champion. Stardust went, went followed after. Jay Uso then eliminates Luke Harper, and we become the new Intercontinental Champion. Now, after that battle royal in 2K16, we're now here at the Intercontinental Championship match against Rikishi. And look out, Maggle. We look, we got ourselves a flying Uso. All over. Oh, that <laughs> went flying again. <laughs> look at the monitor. is right there. Jay Uso smacked Rikishi's head off that monitor. Rikishi now in trouble as Jay Uso smacks his bootay in his dad's face. <laughs> Pause. That's so stonky. And now look at Rikishi in trouble with Rikishi. Driving from Jey Uso, using his dad's own move, and the mono just bounced. And now Jey gets back into the ring. This is the last match, standing match, by the way. And a count of two. Oh. <laughs> We're right up close and personal with Jey Uso. <laughs> Watch the camera like that. We now move on to 2K18. Now, 2K18, we're having a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship against Razor Ramon. And the bad guy has a history with ladder matches at WrestleMania, especially with Shawn Michaels. Now this Jey Uso looking to fly a Maggle and a fly and Uso at WrestleMania 33. Razor Ramon, oh my God, throws Jey Uso into a ladder. On the top of the ladder, he's drop kicked to Razor Ramon. And down he goes, and Uso splashed to the outside. And now this Cork's going drive, oh my gosh, went in all different directions right there. And put Razor Ramon through the ladder. Shades of WrestleMania. And this Uso splash off the top of the ladder to Razor Ramon. And Jay Uso wins, and he becomes Intercontinental Champion once again in 2K18. 2K19 is here, and we're having a hell in a cell match against Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. A few moments later. Come on, we're already on top of the cell. There, there, there was no debate in it. And Dolph Ziggler now is thrown off the top of the cell. <laughs> Just as I get up and I chase him with the elbow dropped off the top of the cell onto Dolph Ziggler. And look, I guess his leg has been caught. <laughs> and now Dolph Ziggler with a famous to Seth Rollins. Jay so he's getting there. Cover one, two, and Jay Uso breaks up with the last possible second. Super King to Dolph Ziggler. Cover and Jay Uso gets a victory and wins the championship. Jay Uso on his way to the ring here in 2K20. We have ourselves an elimination, falls count anywhere, fatal four way match. And it is going to be for the Intercontinental Championship held by the Miz. Wait, if you've made it this far in the video and you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe and help us reach our goal of 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Before we carry on though, we've got a quick message from Shrek. Like and subscribe, Donkey! And he connects again to Jeff Hardy into the cover from Jey Uso. Also, everyone in the match starts with three finishes, I forgot to mention. And look at Maggle as a flat Uso, but Finn Balor got in the way. <laughs> Nonetheless, we took down the Miz into the cover from Finn Balor. We roll through into the cover from Balor. We reversed it, we reversed it, and Finn Balor kicks out. Jey Uso now got Miz on the announcer's table, and Jey Uso looking to fly. 
Here we go. Us Uso splash connects to the Miz through the announcer's table into the cover. But the Miz, this is why he is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, in my opinion. And Finn Balor eliminates the Miz straight after. Huge crossbody down goes Finn Balor on that table. Look out. Uso splash connects to Finn Balor into the cover. Could this be it? On Finn Balor. One, two, and a kick out by Finn Balor. Once again, now look at Finn Balor dribble. Ooh. And again, he finally puts him through the table. Now Jay so picks him up. Look, he's put him through that chair. No! Finn reversed him and put Jay through the chair. But then Jay was going for something more devastating right here. A suplex to the outside from Jay so One, two, and that's all she wrote. On to 2K22, we've got a triple threat steel cage match against Dolph Ziggler and the Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Let's get things cracking in the SummerSlam 09 Arena. And there we go, Jay's on top of the cell. On top of the cage. <laughs> Very up talk. And look at this, Dolph Ziggler and the Miz just took turns trying to take me down. I kept kicking both of them, trying to get a quick victory. And it was just not going to work because it literally it kept coming back. Every time I got up there, another one would come up. And if I kicked one down, another one would come up. So eventually, I did what any sane person would do. I jumped off top of the cage <laughs> to try and escape. Let them fight out. And as they fired out, I tried to do my sneaky escape. And I got to the top of the cage, but it ended up being a little bit of a race against the Miz. But then Dolph Ziggler then chose to go after the Miz, luckily, and then I took my quick escape out of the steel cage and I became the new Intercontinental Champion in 2K22. 2K23 is here and we're in a fatal... ...is here and we're in a fatal four-way tables match against Chad Gable, Sheamus and the Ring General Gunther, the longest reign Intercontinental Champion of all time. Not much happened in this match apart from JS winning the Intercontinental Championship. Up next we've got a gauntlet match and we've also got a five man tables match here in 2K24 and Jay Uso is eating with the WWE Universe and the first person in this gauntlet is Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels is here. Oh. That's so stonky. Watch the pirate go crazy for the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Here we go. Intercontinental Championship on the line. Both Intercontinental titles on the line. Let's see if we can win both titles here in this Gauntlet match. Here we go. Shawn Michaels with close in the corner. Down goes Jey Uso. Jey Uso was taking no prisoners in this whole Gauntlet though. As he wanted Shawn to his feet for a huge spear but a big reversal from the heartbreak kid. Off that big knee, Jey Uso ends up kicking out too. Following that, JSO then drops down Shawn Michaels with a signature manoeuvre into the cover and Shawn Michaels has been eliminated. Next person out is Mr. Perfect, another person, one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions of all time, and we throw a guitar at him. <laughs> Mr. Perfect then went for this signature manoeuvre of his. Mr. Perfect then hit him, down he went. And then look at this, he thinks he's safe going to the corner. No, 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 not with a Samoan in, in sight and an ass to the face from JSO, courtesy of Rikishi. And here we go, Kofi Kingston at number four. Kofi gave me a run for my fucking money, bro. A spear after spear, and uh, Kofi finally went down. No, he didn't, because Kofi Kingston is the most resilient person ever. Here's the SOS, that please someone help me. One, two, and I have to use my resiliency, bro. At this early into the match, this is a 20-man gauntlet, by the way. And now Jay so pins Kofi Kingston, Kofi is gone. Now, in my opinion, the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, The Miz, almost got him out straight away. Now, Jeff Jarrett's bald. <laughs> what to his hair, bro? He gets into the ring and JSA gets into a spear straight away to try and put away Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett ends up kicking out because he's Jeff Jarrett. That's J E double F, J A double R, E double T, as we got taken to Suplex City. But JSA takes down Jeff Jarrett into the cover and JSA wins. And here comes Triple H at oh, number seven. Oh my god, on the neck of JSA. Jay drops Triple H into the cover of Triple H, and there goes Triple H. And The Rock here is number eight in this gauntlet match. Here we go, spear to the great one. Into the cover straight away, but The Rock kicks out at two. Having none of it, we break a guitar of his head, and another guitar. Oh, it was spinning. <laughs> and The Rock now looking for the people's elbow on Jay Uso. And look at this now, The Rock going for the people's elbow. All reversed by Jay Uso, and a spear to The Rock, one. Two and a kick out from The Rock once again, and another spear from Jay Uso. One, two, and a three. And here comes the ultimate warrior. And now Jay Uso puts 
down the old warrior with a booty to the face and a <laughs> spear. Now, Sedition Manure from Jey Uso on Ultimate Warrior, and Ultimate Warrior has been eliminated. Chris Jericho is here. The blood Spain, Spains? It's blood stains of Jey Uso all over the ring. Now we're into the walls of Jericho, and Jey Uso gets out of it. Following that, Chris Jericho gets rolled up by Jey Uso into the cover. Could this be a one, two, and then a three count? And here comes Macho Man, Randy Savage, and he almost got eliminated with Jason straight away. But this man kept kicking out, and kicking out, and kicking out, and kicking out. After a shot was to the head of the guitar, Jason gets the victory. Christian Cage, the father of the year, number 12. And <laughs> tried to put the ladder in, but didn't work, and got hit with a trash can. And Jason with the Uso splash to Christian. Christian in trouble, the father of the year is in trouble, but Christian ends up kicking out. Following that, Jason gets up, but it gets hit by a spear from Christian. And Christian with the guitar, a roll up from Jey Uso, one, two, and a oh, no kick out, Jey Uso gets the victory. Bret Hart number 13, Jey Uso puts Bret Hart through the table, one, two, and J Bret Hart kicks out. Following that, Bret Hart with the crossbody, caught by Jey Uso, into a huge Samoan drop on Bret Hart, into the ring, and a spear from Jey Uso, one, two, three, and Bret Hart has been taken down. Number 14, Shelton Benjamin. Benjamin with a huge DDT, busting them wide open onto the announce table and a spear from Jey Uso once again and another one from Jey Uso and a cover on Sean Benjamin and that gets things done. Rob Van Dam is here, RVD is dropped with a signature manoeuvre and he's eliminated. Quick work there. Honky Tonk Man number 16 comes running in and gets hit on the head with a guitar, busting them wide open. Honky Tonk Man then drops Jey Uso and Jey Uso, is that, see that kicking out? See? Without resiliency, that's what we had to do the whole time bro. Uso splash from Jey Uso, number 17 is Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett's getting beaten down by Jey Uso. Jey Uso's having none of it, big spit. Oh, reversed by Wade Barrett, but finally got him again. And there goes Wade Barrett. Number 18 is Cody Rhodes, the man who changed the design of the Intercontinental Championship. Back in 2011, cover and a kick out from Cody Rhodes and a spear from Jey Uso to Cody, and Cody kicks out. Now this big spear once again, and a huge signature maneuver to J Cody Rhodes, and Cody Rhodes has been eliminated. Up next, Randy Orton 0 2, a spear from Jey Uso 1, 2, and a 3 count. Following that, Jeff Hardy number 20, and then we put him down. And the Gauntlet match was done. Jey Uso got the job done. But if you remember, I also mentioned these men as thrown into a fatal five way tables match. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rick Rude, Gunther, and let's get things going. And a spear, and uh, yeah, we got the job done. And we ended up winning in the Intercontinental Championship in every single WWE 2K game. And it felt amazing. Jey Uso, blood pouring all the way down him. <laughs> but nonetheless, Jey Uso got the job done. Winning the Intercontinental Championship in every 2K game. If guys, if you enjoyed, please leave us a like and subscribe, all that great stuff. Hope you all have a lovely day.